bro. <laughs> I'll sit here and say, shut up. <laughs> I'll say, make me. Because I'll be wham in it. I'll say, make me. <laughs> you put your hand across my chest. Fam? To stop me from getting the camera. I'll grab your wrist <laughs> and you'll feel it. And I'll say, make me. <laughs> <laughs>
and make sure you know whenever we're releasing stuff because now we just feel like releasing yeah, stuff. Yeah, we just drop stuff now. Now we just drop stuff. You've got your episodes every Monday. You can count on that. You've got your Patreon. Patreon, mm. Patreon episode. Fucking get my words out, bro. Monday's episode, that's guaranteed. Thursday, you got a Patreon episode. That's guaranteed. guaranteed. But in between, we just do what we want. We can post and we might post when and <clears throat> whenever, wherever. So yeah, so make sure the notification bell is on so you know whenever we're to. posting in short form. Um, on top of that, guys, <clears throat> making sure you're chirps in the ting in the comments. If you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you listen, wherever you listen to your podcast, please give us a rating, give us a nice review. Uh, it means a lot to us. It goes a long way in terms of spreading the word. White robes and Yeezys is the uniform to build this cult, okay? You know the drill. Build the cult. Chirps a ting in the comments. We need mm. breeding grounds. Mm. We need youths to indoctrinate <laughs> into the cult <laughs> yeah. so we can go for generations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're not going to be here forever. We can't be. As much as we'd like to be, we can't be, you know? So we have to keep this thing rolling. We have to keep the ball rolling. So as Jimmy said, sign up. Yeezys, white robes. Chirps a ting. Let's get these Utes involved. Boom. They're going to continue the race for us. Boom. Um, you know what, yeah? What? Um, I promised myself I was never going to do it, but I'm actually going to do it. What? I'm actually going to do it. What? Guys, if you head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs, I'm actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> head on over to Patreon right now. Anyone who signs up this month, mm. anyone who signs up in the month of March, mm. DM me. Mm. Prove to me that you signed up. Yeah, yeah. Show yeah. me the little call. Yeah, yeah, Congratulations yeah, 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 message. Yeah, yeah, Screenshot yeah. that. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I've got my Pokemon top. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Bagger Man have been asking me. Bagger Man <laughs> have been asking you. Bagger Man, man yeah, 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 yeah. This, I, the same place I got this little Goku top. Yeah, say less. Um, say less. Now that the, what the ink merch is out the way. <laughs> DM me once you sign up to Patreon and I'll tell you. And that, that counts for everyone who's already on Patreon. I don't want to dismiss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to know where I got my po- my Pokemon tops, plural tops, um, sign up to Patreon, DM me, prove to me that you're on the Patreon and you're really part of the gang and you really want to be part of these breeding grounds. Yeah, man. And I will tell you where I got my um, my tops from. <sighs> you happy you got that off? off your I'm happy I got that off. Yeah. Oh, fam. You know what? Hit me. I think I, meant, I mentioned this earlier off camera. Right. Right. Um, so I'm going to give props to um, one of our patrons, Alexis. Yes. Okay. What about her? So Alexis tunes <clears throat> in to our tier two Patreon Zoom call every month mm-hmm. for the last God knows how many months. Mm-hmm. Um, recently, she was looking bad. I'm not going to lie. In this suit. In this work up, thing. In this the work thing. Fam, this this Brazzers thing, check <laughs> Brazzers. <laughs> In this Brazzers, with the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was looking piffed the that's other day. Jokes, I have to give brother. her a prop. <laughs> anyway, she was mentioned that she's on this fitness journey with us. Yes, yes, she did. She did. She did. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been doing what I need to do. Yeah. But not doing what I should be doing. Oh, I completely agree with my with you for, for like myself. January, I was on it. Yeah. February was a bit mm. fam. Now, I said it earlier. Your yeah, boy's yeah. on it, gang. Your boy's on it, gang. And the thing is, as well, I've been training recently. I've got a boy called Josh who I train mm-hmm. with, mm-hmm. who's a big fan of the pod, and he always tells me to say hi to you, and I never remember to say it. So he always says hi, if you had from Josh, said, my well, boy well, Josh, Josh. big fan. Well, um, well, Josh. So anyway, I train with Josh sometimes. And he's a strong brother. Mm-hmm. And he makes me realize that I ain't been lifting heavy enough. Okay. I ain't been training hard enough, bro. Mm-hmm. I've just been out here just doing what... Relatively relative fills you out. Kind fills, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember a few months ago when I was on it, after lockdown, actually not a few, like a year ago. Okay. After lockdown, I was bang. When the gyms opened, mm-hmm. I was in there, bro. For mm-hmm. a good few months, I was in there, in there, in there. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, dumbbell, press, dumbbell chest press. I had the 52s out. Mm-hmm. And I was... Ooh, I got a good set. Last year. This was last year. Okay. I got a good good set. And I thought, you know what? I'm motherfucking strong, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually strong. Yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah, mad. Yeah. Nah, yeah. you know what, yeah? <laughs> I'm vexed. <laughs> yeah, you know what, yeah? I'm actually fucking strong. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and have to yeah. say anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because if I lifted like this all the time, yeah. I would be much bigger and much stronger and much be- um, in better shape. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I did what I always do, which is I did one set on 52s one day. Finished the other two sets on like 50s or whatever. Mm. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm strong. Mm. The next week, dropped all the way back down to like 37s. Mm. 
all the way down to like 30 <laughs> sevens and stuck there for like six months. Yeah. So I trained my boy Josh the other day mm. for the first time in a while. Mm. And he immediately grabbed like the 50s. I was like, let's go. First set? No, warm ups. We'd like two warm up sets and then he grabbed the 50s and I was said, gonna let's say, go. Okay. 50s on an incline. Ooh. Yeah. And I felt like my shoulders were gonna pop out of the socket. Imagine. Bro, but anyway, it made me realize I got through it and I thought, why am I not doing this yeah. all the time? When, you have, when you're with someone, it's different. I know sometimes it's different when mm. you're with someone, but fam, I realized that I need to be doing this all the fucking time. Yeah. Like I'm tired of just like sticking in my comfort zone. I'm yeah. not getting any stronger. Yeah. I'm not getting yeah. any bigger. I'm not yeah. really pushing myself. Yeah. So this last week, I've been pushing it. I had two reasons to motivate me. One, I looked in the mirror and I looked like a thumb. <laughs> fam, I looked in the mirror and I looked like a thumb. I looked like those brothers from uh, Spy Kids. Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember the first Spy Kids? And he has those minions that are thumbs that just walk around. <coughs> I think I look so. like homeboy. I think so. Um, <laughs> so one reason to motivate me is I look like a thumb and I'm tired of it. Yeah. I've also got hundreds of pounds worth of supplements in my yard and I ain't been taking them. Mm. I've been the one to the be one fair, that you the one I about. subscribe to, yeah, I've been yeah. taking it okay. because they ship it to your yard regardless. Okay. They drape your money yeah, and they ship, ship it, it to your yard. <laughs> So when you've so you got two, to. when you've got two cases of it, yeah. it's a, you, you, you're hearing alarm bells. <laughs> where's my money? Yeah, and where's my I'm muscle? Wasting money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been taking those vitamins, but mm. I've got like protein and creatine in my yard and mm. amino acids in my yard that I just ain't been taking. Mm. So I went on a big shop over the weekend. I've got mad porridge, blueberries. Nice. I've got my protein. I've got my creatine. I'm ready. I've got steaks galore. I've nice. got chicken galore. Nice. I've got rice galore. Nice. Your boy's ready to turn up. Nice. Come June, July, mm. peak summer, mm. you think I won't do this topless? Yeah. <laughs> Look me in my eye like a man. You think I won't do this podcast yeah. topless? You said that last year. I know I you said. You said that last year. I also year. said I was going to jump out of a plane, but <laughs> here we are. TV. I was thinking about that earlier. <laughs> I it's was been, thinking about it yesterday. It's been your, it's been your birthday. My it's birthday been your third. My birthday is coming up next month. Next month. You think I won't do it? <laughs> We've got more subscribers now, yeah, more yeah. accountability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the way yeah, I see yeah. it. More Say subs, less. more followers, more accountability. Say less. I will jump out of a plane Say less. and come summertime, I will do this podcast topless. Say less. I'm going to spot on it. I'm scared to spot on it because I know what that really means. That it's really real now. It's really real now. Cool. Say less. Because we've got a wedding to go to in August mm -hmm. in Port not Portugal. What's it called? Madeira. No? Madeira. Yeah, it's Portugal. Similar. Somewhere. Nah, it's not yeah, Portugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw, screw, screw. Tell yeah. someone from Madeira. It's, yeah, it's yeah, Portugal. Yeah, yeah. See uh, sorry, 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 uh, sorry. In my head, I feel like it's telling, it's calling that Irish person English. Okay, makes sense. That's when where in that, my head. That's yeah. where I see it. Okay. So okay. we got a, a wedding in August in Madeira, mm -hmm. and your boy's got to be looking chef's kiss. So just before that, mm. I'll do it topless. Okay. I'm terrified now that I've put that in the universe. Yeah, we'll see how that fuck it. I need accountability in my life because I'm lazy, bro. Say less. So same. I'm gonna, Sometimes fam, same. I'm going to be wham yeah. and lean. <laughs> so what's going to happen is I'm mm. going to sit down mm. and I'm not even going to tell you what's happening. I'm going to drape my top off. <laughs> I'm going to baby roll it in the toilet before and I'm going to drape my top off. And I'm just going to sit here and wait for your reaction. <laughs> Bro, I would be... I would either be jealous... Or horny. No. No. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, go on, go, 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 go on, go on, go on. I'd be on. jealous mm. or vexed that I've probably not done, gone as hard as I wanted to go. I want plan B. I want the second, <laughs> I want the latter. I so want I, you to look at me and think, fuck. I'm putting my jumper on. Yeah, and I want to say, I want to say yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to, obviously I want to talk about gym stuff today, mm, mm. but I don't want to bring it up yeah, now until again. June. Yeah, yeah. Because it's on you. <laughs> Because it's on you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get here in like July, yeah. early August, rip my top off. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to wear a cheap top. Rip it off and just sit here and say nothing. And I want you to say, fuck, I haven't been doing it. Because I'll say, and, et tu? <laughs> <laughs> and you? And you? And <laughs> you? Fam? Et tu? And if you say nah, the whole world's going to know yeah. about it. <laughs> so I'm warning you now. Between July and August, early yeah. August, yeah. I will be ripping it off unprovoked. Yeah. And I might wear long sleeves because you might start seeing veins the, the, early the and think it's coming. Yeah. So I want to be... Fam, if I see vascularity, <laughs> like mid-June, I'm running. I'm running to the gym. <laughs> running to the gym. <laughs> that incline huh? tread, five minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to sweat. When we start doing sip sips before the show mm. and I decline pineapple juice, 
you know what's up. Okay. I don't want that fructose yeah. in my bloodstream. You don't need that. <laughs> I don't want any more carbs than I need. So, um, yeah. That's hilarious. Come late July, August, yeah. I'm going to tear it off, preferably with one hand. <laughs> I'm gonna when tear it off, thing. fam. I'm gonna tear it off, <laughs> yeah. lob it, yeah. and stare at you. <laughs> and you've got two options: stay where you are or or follow suit. <coughs> and if you stay where you are, <laughs> I'm gonna snigger. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> and then I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna look you up and down, <laughs> and then I'm gonna look at the camera. I won't look at you again for fam, the rest of the thing. I will launch the camera. <laughs> you man are getting a two minute episode because I will launch the fucking camera. <laughs> Put your fucking top on. <laughs> Bro, I'll sit here and say, shut up. I'll say, make me. Because I'll be wham in it. I'll say, make me. You put your hand across my chest. Fam? Just stop me from getting the camera. I'll grab your wrist and you'll feel it. And I'll say, make me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. But anyway, guys, it's in the universe now. I'm going to jump out of a plane in April. Oh. Maybe May. Give me chance. <laughs> My birthday's in April, but just give me like a six week window. barrier window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah cushion. Yeah, yeah. Six week cushion. <laughs> and I may or may not jump out of a window, but hopefully I will. Mm. A window, a plane. <laughs> I know what you mean. And come July, I said June, scrap June. Scr- come July, July. Late July. Late July. Late July. Early August. Yeah. Random episode, you're going to hear whoosh. <laughs> and then that's going to be it. For you audio listeners, you're going to want to. Scurry over to the yeah, YouTube. Yeah, it's gonna be viral on social media yeah. anyway. So you've got no choice. Yeah. You'll you'll see it. You'll be <laughs> minding your business and you'll just see it. <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Fwegs, my boy. Well, I'm G. Let me ask you a question, bro. Hit me up, G. Let me ask you a flipping question. Talk to me, my dog. Have you ever ever met anyone who finds nose and ear hair attractive? I'll wait. Of course not. Of course not. Of course Rhetorical not. questions. Of course not. Everyone hates a rhetorical <laughs> question. I just posed a rhetorical <laughs> question for you. Of course not. No one likes nose hair. No one finds nose hair attractive. Of course not. That's why dad. we need the weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer, which provides pro- proprietary skin mm. safe technology. Only found at your boys over at Manscaped. Only. Only for only. only. That's a TM thing. That's a copyright thing. <clears throat> proprietary skin safe technology i'll tell you what that does it helps reduce nicks snags and tugs tally whackers and smacks <laughs> in those delicate nose and ear holes bro <coughs> it's all a necessity bro you know what it's like when you've got a little straggler yeah and, you go, yeah, yeah. and your eyes water <laughs> and you're sneezing fam you can feel it trickle down. Bro, you can cheek. feel it oh, all down pistex. your face. You're blowing your nose for the rest of the day. Mm. With your boys over at Manscaped, you ain't got to worry about that. You can just give it a quick gzzz. A lighting. Yeah, yeah. And you don't need to look like Professor Frink anymore, bro. Take care of that. On top of that, we've got the pro. I was going to say the prop preserver. The crop preserver. Preserver. Anti chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. Mm, mm. You ain't never you ain't never lived like this. I thought you were going to say, I ain't never been with a baddie. <laughs> oh, that's what you were going to say. I ain't never been with a baddie. Bro, that's what, word on the street, that's what I hear. <laughs> I hear that's what happens. When when these have, have invested in the crop preserver, yeah. anti chafing, Ball deodorant and moisturizer uh, when they're getting that slop top, mm. all they hear is, I ain't never been, been with a baddie. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call me a baddie. I don't even know the lyrics. Calm show up, add it to the, the tally. tally. <laughs> Medicine, but I'm calling call it a maddie. Oh, TikTok used to go to hell, man. <laughs> um, anyway, <clears throat> so <laughs> it's starting to get warm outside, mm. and it's crucial that your balls stop sticking to your leg, big man. Yeah, if you're man. hung low like yeah, your boys man. over here, <laughs> yeah, there's an issue, and you need that anti chafe. So, guys, bro. what you need to do is you need to get uh, get your hands on this crop preserver, get your hands on the weed whacker, and the only way to do that is head on over to manscape.com. Manscape.com. You might be looking at the prices and think, if this was one fifth cheaper, I would snag it right away. There you go. We got Pause you. that thought. We've got you. We got you. What you need to do is use the code SNG. Sierra November Golf. Thank you, sir. Mm. Manscaped.com. The code is SNG. You got 20% off and free, free shipping. shipping. Okay. 20% off and free shipping worldwide. Global. Head on over to manscaped.com. Sierra November Golf. The code is SNG. Get your tings today. Let's go back to the episode. Gang, gang. Speaking of. Well, um, 
I saw Batman the other day. Oh, fuck. I'm watching it this week, hopefully. Hopefully. I've heard it's potentially one of the best Batmans. Oh, potentially the best Batman, Fuhad. Really? Potentially the best Batman. Really? Better than Dark Knight? Yes. Ooh, Robert had it like that. Patterson had it like that. Really? Kravitz had it like that. Okay. Okay. It's a movie, Okay. Bro. Okay. It's a movie. Because obviously it was meant to come out last year. And I've seen like, I've, been, yeah, I've seen so many little teasers prior to the main trailer. And I'm thinking, it doesn't look that oomph. They clearly didn't give it, they clearly didn't put a lot in the trailer on purpose. Same way we did with Spider-Man, you know? And Spider-Man was fucking heavy. But okay. It's a movie, Would you say brother. it's the best DC movie going, period? Yeah. It's better than Justice League. It's better than Justice fucking... League was whack. I've yeah. not seen the four hour one, but I've, which I've heard is very good. Yeah. Or a lot better, I should say. Oh, I've seen it. It's not that great. Oh, really? Oh, I've seen it. It's not that great. I heard it was a lot better. It's I... a lot better, but it's not cool. It's not good. Yeah. It doesn't make it a good movie. Oh, man. The Snyder Cut, I've seen it, bro. Oh, that's a shame. It doesn't make because it a good movie. Because the original was. Movie. It, oh, it the was original shocking, was fucking man. shocking. It was so rushed. But anyway, um, let's go back to the point. The Batman? Oh, bro, it's a movie. Okay. Oh, Gan. bro, it's a movie. I'm not going to lie. It's long. I, that's three I'm, hours. That's what I'm here for. But yeah. That's what I'm here for. I love long movies. It's one of, uh, one thing I will say, it's one of the few long movies. The only other time I felt like this was Lord of the Rings Return of the King, Mm -hmm. where there was like 20, that's a long movie. Mm -hmm. And there was like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes at the end where I thought they could have cut that all out. Mm. Where Sam, Samwise Ganji went back and got married to some hoe from the Shire. I don't remember And all these these things, things, bro. And everyone was at his wedding clapping. Man said his full name. (laughs) Sam Wise Ganji went back and got married to some random chick <laughs> yeah. back at the Shire, bro. And yeah. I remember thinking, th- and that's at the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. thinking, you've made us sit through hours of this. I don't want to see what happens after. Yeah. Lob the thing in the volcano and let's wrap this yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> because we've been here for hours. Yeah. Um, there's bits in the Batman where like it's a three hour movie, mm. and I love when when directors aren't shy to put out a three hour movie, mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. But there's little bits in there where I think. We gotta chop that up. Mm-hmm. There's a bit where um without I won't do any spoilers for yeah, this. Yeah, of course not. I Brand know. new movie, I wouldn't do that yeah. to you, man. There's a bit where um <clears throat> Batman and Catwoman are like riding my motorcycles together. Mm-hmm. They're just riding, fam. They're just riding. There's no there's there's no logic Purpose, to it. No nothing. There's no end game to it. Okay. They're just driving. Okay. And it's like two, three minutes long, and you're like. This is a waste of time. Okay. This is a waste of time. Okay. And there's a couple like chatty bits mm. where you're like, waste of time. Mm-hmm. It doesn't get, it doesn't add anything to the plot. Mm. It doesn't answer any questions. We're just chatting. Mm. Cut it. Cut it. Okay. But apart from those bits, there's a few little bits. Um, <clears throat> there's a cameo, I won't spoil it. There's a cameo near the end from a certain character mm. that we really didn't need. Okay. Um, we really didn't need, okay. and it's annoying that they could have, out of anyone from the Batman universe, mm-hmm. they could have chosen a cameo from any other character, and it would have made it more relevant. But because they chose this character, you're like unnecessary. Um, <clears throat> which will give it away a little bit. But anyway, it's, it, it's an irre- it's also an irrelevant scene. So even if I've spoiled it for anyone, it's irrelevant. It okay. doesn't mean anything. Okay. Um, but the movie as a whole. Yeah. Wow. It's a good, yeah. strong movie. Yeah. It's a strong movie. Um, okay. I'm I'm surprised Robert could put it down like that. He puts it down. The only thing, the only few <clears throat> critiques I have, uh, without, again, without spoiling anything, is the, it's the only kind of Bruce Wayne, really, that Robert Patterson could probably pull off. Because in the other Batman, like, Bruce Wayne is a, is a fuck boy, basically. Mm, okay. He's a playboy. He's suave mm-hmm, and cool mm-hmm, as shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In this, this Bruce Wayne, Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne is basically like an emo kid. Okay. He's a, a recluse. Okay. Like a proper hermit. He doesn't like seeing anyone. Okay. And he's proper like hair slicked down and okay. like very... Because I was going to say, sorry to cut you off, I was going to say, do you think he played a better Batman than Christian Bale? But obviously you've just said that they're two completely ta- different types the of Bruce Batman. The Bruce Wayne's are completely different. The, Bat- mm. the Batman have no choice but to be the okay, same. Okay, okay, okay. The Bruce the Gr- Wayne's okay. I'm li- I'm are with different. You. I'm with you. I'm with you now. I'm, um, with you now. I'm with you now. Yes, 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 yes. The Bruce Wayne's are definitely very different. I'm with you. The Batman are similar mm. 
but there's a lot more theatre to Robert Pattinson's Batman than there is to um, Christian Bale's Christian Batman. Christian Bale, as well as, um, what's his face from Justice League? What's his name? Fucking Ben Affleck. Some I saw on TikTok or something or somewhere. So, no, 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 it wasn't. I was talking to one of our boys mm. and he said he saw a tweet from someone saying Ben Affleck's the best Batman. He should be crucified. Wow. Whoever said Ben Affleck, wow. who doesn't even have his own Batman movie, should, is the best <laughs> Batman. Wow. Is off their fucking head. I, find all your, <clears throat> I couldn't get my words out there. I also find it weird how they recycle um, Batman. If that makes sense, mm, kind of like, like James so, Bond, so quick, yeah. But it's it's, it's so quick. quick. It's very quick. It's so quick. Consider it's, it's like quick. a superhero movie type thing. It's like imagine they've got like seventeen Wolverine movies and stories. Imagine they kept on changing Hugh Jackman. Mm, Do you know true. what I mean? And it's it's still been Hugh Jackman. But I think that's more down to Hugh Jackman as an actor rather than the Batman because I think they would be happy to keep would have been happy to keep making Christian Bale movies. Yeah. Christian Bale said, "I'm not doing any more Batman movies." Mm. He said that. Okay. Um, so once an actor says, I'm not doing this anymore, mm. they have no choice but to not only change the actor, but change the director, change yeah, everything. Yeah, like we, yeah. have, we have to come up with a brand new concept mm. rather than just an act. We can't just replace, replace the actor. The actor yeah. um, <clears throat> and I feel, yeah. So the movie's fucking sick. Okay. Uh, Robin Patterson, like I said, there's a lot more theatre and artistry in the shots. The cinematography is unbelievably good. Who directed it? Ooh. Good question. Let me check. Director Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves. So Matt Reeves, give contact, also directed Matt Reeves movies. Let's have a look, see. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. This is actually a good example. Okay. So uh, Matt Reeves directed Planet of the Apes. Okay, all of them. Uh, just... Yeah. Oh, mad. Um, Cloverfield good movie Um, or interesting movie I would say what else oh wow he hasn't actually done that many Let Me In I've seen oh I have seen that never seen that Let Me In yeah the newish Let Me In from 2010 so he's done a couple he's done a couple good movies but um, props on the Batman some of them I haven't even seen but yeah good Batman movie bro okay good Batman there's Patience Mm. Obviously, throughout movie, there's mm. a lot of patience in there, but good like suspense. Yeah. Not patience. There's suspense mm. and there's theatre. Mm. What they do in this Batman, rather than even though there's a lot of action in it, mm-hmm. they put the fear of God in you. About there's a saying that says like I can't remember. There's a there's a saying from some philosopher or something that says like um oh what is it. I've been afraid of like, I've been afraid of like thousands of things in my life, 90% of which never happened. Okay. And that's what they bring to the character in this Batman. Whereas in Christian Bale's Batman, mm. he was just a wham breader yeah, yeah, that we yeah. wanted to see fuck people up. Yeah, 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 yeah. This Batman mm. is more of like, he's a few years into the game mm. and the they bring such darkness to it that the criminals are afraid to commit crimes. Oh, mad. It's, it's very, it's a very unique play. Okay. And it's a strong play. Okay. Like they play, the, like I said, you know, in terms of playing the pauses that like mm-hmm, we spoke mm-hmm, about a few mm-hmm, weeks ago. Mm-hmm. In this movie, they play the pauses. Okay. It's, it's good. Okay. I'm, They're I'm more concerned about the threat of Batman than Batman himself. Himself. Oh, mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's good. It's a mind fuck. The movie's strong. Because the action in it is also very fucking strong. <laughs> the action is very, also very fucking strong. Okay, gang, gang, um, gang. So, strong recommendation <coughs> for the Batman. Definitely going to watch that. Hopefully this week. Hopefully mm. this week. But yeah, strong recommendation. Some, good movie. It's something I've wanted to watch for a while. Um, and then even while, like the okay, villain, the villains in it are very good. Yeah. Um, I only know one main villain because obviously you're from the adverts, but yeah. You know. uh, the Penguin. Yeah. No. The Riddler. Oh, sorry, the Riddler. Yeah. But yeah, the penguin's in it as well. Okay. You would have seen it. He's in the trailer though. Yeah, yeah, I would have. But um, I only saw he's I in that like car chase yeah. scene. I only remember the Riddler because I've seen the, I've seen the bear question marks on it. The Riddler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terrifying. Mm. <laughs> the Riddler's played by. Um, do you remember the from? You'd like this as well because it's a perfect fit. Do you remember Prisoners? The movie we talk about all yes, the time. Yes, 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 yes. Hugh the Jackman just, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Hugh yeah, Jackman yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Black Bird. Anthony the Black Mackie. Guy. Anthony, is it Anthony Mackie. 
No, it's um, and exactly it's from hustle and flow and fucking yeah, yeah, crash, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, some yeah. other shit. Yeah, yeah, I know, um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Prisoners, yeah, the disabled brother that they capture in prisoners. He's a Riddler. <sighs> Strong <play>. chilling, <laughs> chilling. If Strong you might have play. not seen the prisoners. Wow! Yeah, strong play. You know why I said chilling. He 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 was yeah yeah yeah, tapped. yeah, yeah. he was tapped tapped. So he's fucking tapped in Batman. Okay, so he he lent into it even oh, more. Oh, he doubled down. Oh, say less. He's a strong Riddler. Oh, say less. So um, Riddler's strong, and the Penguin is very strong as well. Say less. And the Penguin that I didn't even know until afterwards. You wouldn't know until you've seen the movie. No, you even after I didn't even know. Colin Farrell plays the Penguin. Mm. I swear to God, you will go in there knowing that's Karen Fowler and not see Karen Fowler. Okay. Superb makeup job. Okay. I don't know how much weight he had to gain to play this role. Okay. Strong job. Okay. Movie. Okay. Batman's a movie. I'm looking forward to it. Potentially the best Batman movie going. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Good. I'm very much looking forward to it. Fucking good. Good movie. Bet. Bet. Um, But yeah. I'm Vex. I need to piss again. Let's go for it. And then go we'll, it, uh, we'll it, do whatever it. you want to do. Go for it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. So you've got trash news. Yeah. But random, sh- quick Shut left. left hand. Before the trash news, have you seen, this is probably like semi trash news before I go to the trash news. Calm. Have you seen this Rick Ross and this camel thing? Rick Ross camel? Have you seen it? No. <laughs> also, before you show me, yeah. Rick Ross has lost his mind recently. <laughs> Explain. He posted a video a couple of weeks ago of him just chopping down a tree in his fucking garden. I've not seen that. Fam? He did a video where he was like, mm-hmm. um, a few weeks ago, where he was like, oh, I tried to get a quote on um, getting rid of some of these trees in my back garden. These motherfuckers tried to charge me $1,000 a tree. That's 10 grand for all the trees. So I told my boy, run down to Home Depot. Told his boys to run down to Home Depot. Told my boy, run down to Home Depot. Give me the biggest motherfucking chainsaw they've got. And it's just him, a video of him chopping down trees. And he's like, who do you think cares about this, Rick? <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Rosé, like, <coughs> who do you think gives a fuck? That's hilarious. You're 68 years old <laughs> and you're chopping down trees in your own yard because you don't want to pay 10 grand for someone else to do it. This is embarrassing. But anyway, sorry. Now it's the camel team. Go on. Yeah, and he also bought a cow like a couple of weeks ago. And he just let it run free in his he's yard. He's lost his mind. I'm telling you, he's lost his mind. It's just, it's the facial expressions, brother. So he, he's in Dubai. And he gets on a... Wait, you turn it down. He's in That's Dubai and gets on a camel. He's lost a lot of weight as well. <laughs> What's making that noise? The camel? The camel. Oh, hell no. <laughs> wait for it. Camel's had enough, dude. Look at, look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> nah, he looks concerned, fam. <laughs> that's Man jokes. Stares at the camera. He stares. It's the funniest thing. Oh, I saw jokes. that, and I was like, oh, the way he's staring at the camera is too funny. But anyway, let me go to the trash news. So this is a play-by-play. Um, of a WhatsApp or an iMessage conversation, right? So I'll read it out as opposed to showing it to All you. All right, cool. All right, just for context. And it's about a girl that used to date Tion Wayne. Tion Wayne's a rapper, just for context, for guys that don't know. UK. That, UK rapper. It's for, about a girl that used to date Tion Wayne back in the day. Her name is Lani. And Lani, Lani's sister actually went to our uni back a day as well. Is she buff or no? Lani or the sister? The sister. She was cute. She was, right, cool. she was cute. She was cute. She was cute. Were we there? Yeah, yeah we, uh, I think she was younger than us, so I think maybe. Yeah, she was. She would have been there. So I think maybe like our, our last year, she was in like her first or second. Oh, I can't remember. Okay. It was one of them ones. Anyway, I'm gonna read it out to you. So this is how my ex boyfriend spoke to me on Valentine's Day after I got his name tatted on my private parts. I can't believe you're not with me on Valentine's Day. Question. Question. After a year on this. Did you or do you love me? Did I mean anything to you? Why the fuck do you link me every other day for a year? He's replying, dot, dot, dot. Convenience. (laughs) 
Heartbreak. She replies, heartbreak. Why you make me cook for you? Why do you make me cook breakfast for you every Sunday? Why do you ask me to get your name tied on my V? Why? He's replying, dot, 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 allow it. Explain, dot, dot, dot. Bro, you make good breakfast. <laughs> so you never loved me? You came here every other day for a year because you wanted pum pum and breakfast. Question, question, question. He's typing, 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 and it just locks off there. Can you imagine, bro? Oh, some brothers are brutal, bro. Can you imagine, brother? That's b- brutal. I don't, if you're trying to, to be fair, if you're trying to lock someone off, yeah. that's the pengest way to do it. Not pengest, <laughs> brutal, but that's a surefire way. Wait, yeah. Because, yeah, that's tough. Though. But it's it's one of them ones, because I've seen, not similar, but I've seen somewhat back and forth between, not necessarily back and forth, but her posting about him in the past on like Shade Room or whatever, it gets picked up on that. And this is not the first occurrence of him trying to just dead this whole thing. <laughs> they've not, to my knowledge, they've not dated in years, you know? And she's still she, playing this. I don't even understand. This could, to be fair, this could be an old back oh, and forth. I sincerely hope it is. This could be a very old back and forth. But the way it looks. Man said convenience. Convenience. That's all he wrote. Why did you come here all the time eating my breakfast? You make good breakfast. You, you make good breakfast. What do you I'm- want me to say? <laughs> Fam? Sometimes women want honesty, but yeah, the honesty yeah. is not honesty yeah, enough, yeah, you know? Yeah. Fam, so you came here every other day for pom pom and breakfast. I would have replied, you've literally just answered your own question. question. Does that not sound sublime to you? <laughs> Does that not sound sublime it's to pussy you? Pussy and breakfast. Pussy and breakfast. Who doesn't want to come around? I'd come around every day if I could. <laughs> for pussy and breakfast. Bro? What are we talking about yeah, here? It's a win win. It's yeah. a dub dub. Stop asking me rhetorical <laughs> questions and let me get on my day. Let me see what the scrambled eggs are saying. Yeah. Like about fam, it's your pee. scrambled eggs are fluffy and your croissants are warm, <sighs> and the tum tum is wet. It's, what was so tick tick tick? <laughs> what else did you expect, brother? Yeah, you know what else did you expect? Oh, it's um, it's a cruel world. It is a cruel it's world. A cruel Guys world. can be savage when they oh, need to yeah. be. Oh yeah. The thing is though, that's me. Mm. When I'm done, done yeah, <laughs> I can be as cutthroat as I need to mm, be to mm. make you stop texting me. Because I'm not the kind of guy that likes blocking people. Oh, I, I don't block. I, yeah, I, I re- block. very, I think I I've blocked block. like less than five people in my life. I don't block. Like I don't block it unless mm. I absolutely have to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would rather just let you know in the most stern way possible. Mm, that this like, is done. This, this yeah. Us? is over, brother. Yeah. Oh, you have no idea how over it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this whole, you didn't love me, you just used me for Pullman breakfast. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What did you expect? You can you can ask me this love thing as much as you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you to your face. It was it's just convenient, pure convenience and breakfast. <laughs> Tough times, man. I couldn't be on the receiving end of that. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't be on the receiving. To end be of fair, that. I think I could. You think? Uh, yeah, I think I could easily. If I was messaging a girl saying, "Big man," like, not like I could ever see me in this situation, but mm. if I could message a girl saying, "Right," like you don't love me, like what? Why was you over here every then every day then? Mm. Because you're a great cook and you supply sublime dick. That's why I was there every day. Cuz I ate for free and I ate well. And I was piped to sleep every night. That's why I was there. How would that make you feel? You would feel double edged? I'd feel because you're complimenting me also. Exactly, it's a backhand. <laughs> it's a, that's what I'm saying, double edged. Yeah, 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 you're, yeah. you're yeah. <laughs> You'll like, give me a stern compliment. Stern compliment. <laughs> so I'm like, because mm. I can't argue with logic. Yeah. Like, as much as I am a like a living, breathing human with emotions. Yeah. I very rarely get rolled up by logic. Okay. Like I'm someone. I'm an advocate for when people say it shouldn't be this way mm-hmm. or it's not fair. Mm-hmm. I'm always the kind of person that's like, it doesn't matter if it's fair or not. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter if you think it should or shouldn't be this mm-hmm. way. The fact is, this is nature and this is life, and mm-hmm. it is this way, mm-hmm. regardless of what you think should or shouldn't be done. Mm-hmm. This is life. Mm-hmm. Get on mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. Are you? You're wasting too much time on these semantics. Yeah. This is life. Mm-hmm. I'm giving you logics and facts. So I try my best when I've ever been in an argument, man or woman or whatever, I try and use purely logic. Mm-hmm. And I failed myself if I say, yeah, but that's not fair. 
If you ever hear me in an argument say, yeah, but that's not fair, I've already lost the argument. Okay. Because no one said what's fair. Mm-hmm. It's fact or not fact. So if I was arguing with a girl and said, Ra, so you're telling a man you don't love me, you're using me for dick and breakfast. And she said, big man, you cook good breakfast and you give good dick. Why would I not be there every other day? That's a fact. What's this love yeah, chat yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, logic. Fam, that's logic. when you hit me with that kind of logic, I don't think I can be upset. Yeah. I'd feel swindled. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would swim. I would look at the message and read it for five minutes. I wouldn't know what to respond. Because it, it like I said, it's double edged. You'd be like, fucking hell, that's facts. That's a compliment, but shit, I felt used. Shit, I felt used. Yeah, hundred percent But then again, like a lot I feel like a lot of relationships can, are very transactional. Uh, in in some aspects, it's yes, like, of course, yeah. Because at the end of the day, that chick, for example, she clearly felt loved mm-hmm. up until this point where he's telling her facts, convenience, yeah, yeah, and yeah. poem and breakfast. Yeah. Up until that point, she clearly felt loved enough to tattoo ne- man's name on her poem. That's I've completely forgot she even said that. That's nuts. To so me. clearly, this relationship was purely transactional. Yeah. She got everything from him that she felt emotionally. Mm. She got. She felt loved and she felt like willing to love, mm. and he got poem and breakfast. Mm. That was the transaction. She just didn't know that's what the transaction yeah, was. Yeah, at the time, especially. And I feel like a lot of the time, unless you man are very, unless people are very open and say, I'm looking to marry you, mm. have kids with you, and have a relationship with you for the rest of my life, I feel like, unless that's the case, a lot of relationships, people might not like to hear this or they may not admit to this, a lot of relationships, vast majority of relationships, unless you're openly being openly committed, um, they're transactional. Mm. You're seeing, you're seeing a girl that, if there's a girl that you know you're not going to marry, mm. And she knows you're probably never going to get married. This relationship is transactional. Mm. You're going there for something and she's going there for something. something yeah. it, and a lot of the time it may not be the same thing. Mm. So if you're lucky, it's the same thing. Mm. And then we've got, that's when these friends with benefits comes up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when it's that, when we're not friends with benefits, but we're never going to get married, this relationship is transactional. Okay. I want something, you want something. And we're both getting that something. I hear you. I hear you on that. And it's only that. times like this. Where it's peak. Where like, I'm saying to you now, big man, this was a transaction. Mm. I wanted poem and breakfast. <clears throat> I was given said poem and breakfast. <laughs> and I know you wanted to feel sweeted. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I made you feel that way. Bam, I gave you clout and sweeted. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to date a rapper and you wanted to feel good about yourself. Yeah. And that's what you got. Tick, tick. I wanted poem and I wanted breakfast. And that's, that's what, what I got. got. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to hear it this way. Uh, <sighs> tough. Very tough. And it, I feel like it's one of them ones. Is, obviously, it only got to that point because... She didn't hear the word no, I'm assuming. She didn't hear the word no? Yeah, in a sense that she, I want to assume she was like mithering him in a way for him to be so harsh in that in that instance, you know? Does that make sense? Oh, you think he was pushed to this point? As a point, because no one just speaks out of the, speaks like that. Potentially. I don't, I don't think. I'm also I, not a rapper. I, <laughs> I'm with you, true. but I'm also not a rapper. True, 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 he true. can have who he wants. Yes. So this, this true, thing, he true. might jump to 10 immediately. True, true, convenient. <laughs> nah, man, that's tough. I, I haven't got the balls to yeah. say something like that. I really don't. Yeah. I'll get a mess, but who the fuck do you think you are? That's, what, that's the response I'd get back. Who the fuck do you think you fuck. are? Um, sharp left turn. Yeah, yeah, hit me. Controversial topic, but it's facts now. Okay. Speaking of swindled. Yeah. The Tinder swindler yeah. has proved to me personally, I'm not going to say it's proved to everyone, has proved to me that cancel culture doesn't exist if you are transparent with who you are. Because he's still up about and popping? Because the Tinder swindler currently has like an agent in LA. Mm-hmm. So He's doing 20 grand club appearances. He's killing it on like cameo and shit. People are feeding into who this guy is as mm-hmm. the villain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People, he, he is a villain mm. and people know him through and through as a villain. So as long as he's still willing to be a villain, he's doing much worse shit than other people that aren't playing the villain are getting cancelled for. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If he was a quote unquote good guy, mm-hmm. If he was um, a, a TV personality or an internet personality or someone who is perceived to be this 
like holier than now good guy to the world mm-hmm. in the public eye and then turn around and it f- turns out that for the last however many years he's just been scamming women out of money he's going to jail and he's getting cancelled yeah but because all we know all the public eye know of him as someone who swindles women out of their money he's literally making a living now in the public eye as that villain and people are willing to give him money to be that person but I've also heard that he's getting sued by the real um, Diamond family for using his name or using their name. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But that's got nothing blah. to do with being cancelled. True, true, that's, true, true. That's just negatives from that's the yeah. That's told. that specific family who yeah. said I'm part of this family yeah, and he's yeah, okay. not. That's true. not being cancelled. True, 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 true. That's true. literally committing a crime. Yeah. <laughs> he's being sued because he committed a crime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, um, okay. I hear you. I hear you. But in terms you. of like cancelled, in terms of like yeah, like. No one will hire you. Yeah, everything's done, basically. Yeah, yeah, like... The homeless king, where we call yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeless prince. I can't remember what he was. <laughs> homeless <laughs> something. <laughs> it was homeless king. I think it was homeless king. Homeless king. Yeah. It was. I remember you said it. <laughs> the homeless king is cleaning up cleaning. legitimately now. Yeah. That's mad. He made all of his money from illegally taking money off... It wasn't illegal, actually. That's why he's not in pen right Ooh. now. But tricking women into giving him money. Now he's making this, probably the same amount of money legitimately yeah. because he is a transparent villain. These times, these women are probably still paying back the money they owe. 100%. Mad. So it's made me realise that like, you know what? When you are a transparent person, cancel culture attacks people who are deceiving. Mm-hmm. Like, cancel culture, if you paint yourself as, like, per, prime example was, um, I feel like enough people saw this that I won't get in trouble for saying it. I, I can't get in trouble because I saw what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get in trouble because I saw what I saw. Okay. I'm intrigued to know what but you're going to say. I, I, I'm, I, I'm intrigued to know what you're going to say. I saw a TikTok a couple months ago yeah. of Ryland. Ryland. You know the presenter, Ryland? Maybe by if, if Ryland, bro, the tall guy, jet black hair, yes, gay guy. Yes, 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 yes. The brother that does um, supermarket sweep. Does that what he <laughs> does? So, is they bought that back just for him? Mad. <laughs> the brother on cinch.co.uk. What the fuck is that? The carting. I don't know, fam. I'm a, I hope it's the right brother. I, can't, I'm just Ryland, off, I just reeled off two things. Essex I hope, brother. I think it's a brother. Mustache. Yeah, yeah right. Or goatee or whatever it is. <laughs> This brother. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinch and supermarket sweet brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he he's does, active. Um, he's active. He does like um, Big Brother's Big Mouth and them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So what he, about him? Yeah, I saw a TikTok of him. Some guy was recording him secretly. Okay. And then he was saying to this brother, I don't want to put words in his mouth. This okay. is what he said in the TikToker. Big man. So he was like, saying this to the guy that was recording him? Yeah, the guy was recording him a secret. They're okay. walking down the street. Okay. The guy must have the phone here. Okay. So you can see like half of the guy's face mm-hmm. and Ryland here. Okay. <clears throat> and he's like, like whispering to him like, bro, just give me the fucking gear. Give me the gear. Give me the gear. Ryland saying this to the brother? Yes. Okay. Okay. okay and then okay. Ryland clocks the phone and he's like, <laughs> oh my God. And then he's like, fucking delete that. Fucking delete that right now. Mm. So I don't think it's a hop, skip and a jump mm. to say that he was asking for drugs. Mm. I don't know what he was asking for, mm, mm, mm. but I don't think it's a hop, skip and a jump to say that gear means drugs. Mm-hmm. But that's not the, the life he puts out in the public. Of course not. So that kind of shit will get you cancelled. Of course not. Same with, um, was it was it her name Kaz? On, um, she was on Love Island and one of her brethren recorded her snorting something in Dubai. Do you remember I heard this? heard about that. Do you remember this? I heard about that. And then I think a few that. months later... Obviously, it went viral, viral for like a few weeks or whatever. And then I think a few weeks later, she was promoting something. Kaz was. I think there was Kaz. I could be completely wrong. Mm. But the name Kaz is sticking to my head. <clears throat> so let's go with her. She, she was now promoting something. And it was an obvious ploy to distract everyone from what had just happened three, four weeks ago. And nothing's happened since, you know? Mm. Not, she was live, brother. Li- live. Live. <laughs> And it's like, this was your brethren, let alone a stranger mm. recording you. Your brethren did this. Mad. It's nuts to me sometimes. People want you, people don't want to cancel you. They want to make sure they can hold you hostage when they can. Yeah, 100%. 100%. They don't really want to cancel you. 100%. They just want to hold you hostage and run you dry when yeah, they can, yeah, yeah, when they need 100%. it. 100%. Um, I couldn't believe it. But yeah, it, it definitely made me realise like, because I think there was another thing of Danny Dyer got caught snorting coke or something like that. I'm not too sure if I saw that one. But, but saying yeah, with the yeah. council culture thing, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. he was like a big, like a big man thing of Danny Dyer. Mm. I've been snorting yeah, coke. Yeah. If you didn't know, that's your business. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me to my lines. Yeah, my lines. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me to my lines. Yeah. 
Um, but I genuinely believe that like <clears throat> cancel culture preys on people who are um to be fair, it brings back to to Batman. Mm. A big premise of the Batman thing is that the Riddler was killing off people who are liars. Okay. Just liars. Okay. These men are liars and they deserve to die. Mm. Um and I feel like in a weird, horrible way, that's what cancel culture is. Mm. Is like if you just project if you just project the personality that you are mm. the transparency when, of it all. Transparency yeah. of it all and <clears throat> uh then 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 that's there's nothing what what can be cancelled yeah because i've been this i've been this person yeah yeah, yeah yeah but when you project yourself as this like holier than now like if, if we saw like fern cotton getting backshotted in an alley no one's gonna know what's going yeah, on yeah that's that's gonna rattle everyone yeah the nation's gonna run mad yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. but there's certain yats out there that if you did get caught yeah. backshotted in like you'd be like fair play <laughs> Uh, well, right, man, I ain't I never been with a baddie. Yeah. <laughs> Jelly Since belly. Since added to the tally. Yeah, yeah she's right, there now. Fair play. Man. <laughs> say less. Um, so yeah, I genuinely believe that. Like, fair play. All right, like, mm. Tinder swindlers made me open my eyes. I think he, he, if anyone else did what he did, yeah. who was already in the public eye, mm. pretending to be not that, they're done in it. The, mm. They are done. Mm-hmm. But because he is just portrayed as this villain, he just leans into being the villain, and he can just do it once. It's insane. The fact he, that he's got an agent is insane. Fam, and the thing is, if he got caught, even now that he's in the public eye, mm. if he then swindled someone else, we'd be like, this fucking guy, he's done it he's again. Done it again. <laughs> no one's going to be mad. No one can be mad. They'd be more mad at the woman that he swindled. Of course. Of course. Like, the what pub- kind of fucking idiot The public are would you? hunt her down. <laughs> they would hunt her. They'll make her the victim. It's nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. Um, so, so, yeah, man. It, it, I, Council culture is a ruse. Touch wood, it never happens to us, man. It's, it's crazy. You just got to try to stay as transparent as you can yeah. stay. It's just, it's literally fair. all there is to it. Fair, 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 fair. fair. Yeah, you might as well start lying about yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well start lying about shit just in case yeah, you get caught doing it. Get off the chest now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, That's but hilarious. yeah, man, I found that truly fascinating. Mm, mm, truly fascinating. Mm. Um, I anyway, imagine. I've been wow. excited because we missed it last week. Twitter, oh, Hall, of Twitter fame, Hall of Fame. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Dang. man. Um, let me pull that up now. It's been a minute since we've done that. One of my favorite segments. <laughs> Someone said to start saying, I don't have change. Sorry, when guys move to you outside. <gasps> oh, imagine. Can you even imagine, brother? Imagine. You walk up to a gal. And she's like, oh, sorry, sorry. I haven't got change. Sorry. <laughs> You'd want to scream at the top of your lungs. Oh, one minute. I want to scream in her ear to death her as well, you prick. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have change. <laughs> you couldn't be with your boys. I swear to God, I couldn't hear a girl say that to you. I swear to God, bro. I could not hear a girl say that to you. Oh my God. Sorry, I don't have change. Oh, uh, I would scream. I would scratch the pavement beneath me. <laughs> I would jump to my knees and I will scratch the pavement laughing. <laughs> Bro, you're done in this town. I 100%. Oh, I imagine. That's fucking funny. Sorry, I don't have change. You would go home and crawl under your bed and live there for a week. <laughs> you would have to. You would have to. Because you are done in this space. Yeah. You are. It's tough. It's, that's tough. Oh, but whoever great. thought of that, wow. You man are. <laughs> you man are go for the jugular. <laughs> Grown men live tweet in euphoria when there's NBA basketball on. (laughs) Live tweeting. Oh, no, euphoria is basketball, man. It's it's dope. It's dope. I don't know why man I hate it. I want live tweet, but euphoria is dope. All right. My brother's wife left him and remarried. And the way I feel joy for her her when she's flying a new husband, heart eyes, heart eyes. Because family or not, trash is trash. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's tough. Mm. It's tough. Fair enough. I stuttered during lecture today and one of my kids said, not you glitching. I had to remember my position because I almost told her something. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Uh, bro, there was one that reminds me of one that I uh, sent to you an- oh, a little while ago, man. To me? I sent it to you. 
On some stuttering thing? Nah, 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 nah. Let me find it. Oh, I don't know if I've still got it. Let me see. Give me a sec. On WhatsApp? On WhatsApp. I'm sure it was. Oh, if it's on WhatsApp, I might still have it. Uh, Yeah, you might still have it because I deleted all my WhatsApp a few months ago. Maybe less than because my shit was full. Oh, is it the grade eight one? My grade eight? Yeah, read it out, please. <laughs> I can't remember what it's but I, yeah, yeah, read it, read it, read it, read it. Because you even sent it to me. And I said Twitter to, Hall of Fame. Yeah, Twitter Hall of Fame, yeah. My grade eights, my grade eights asked me how many boyfriends I've had in my life. So I started counting. When I reached four, one kid shouted, she's made for the streets. <laughs> imagine. I couldn't grade imagine. Grade eight. She's made for the streets. Oh, that's humiliating. I wouldn't even, as a teacher, I wouldn't know what to do or say. Because there's nothing you can do or These say. These men are like at 12. You can't retaliate. You cannot retaliate. She's made for the streets. Jesus. She's I'd, had four boyfriends. Fam, I'd close my book and walk out the class. Oh, Let I you. promise you I'll be the worst teacher. Oh, the class is done. I'll be the worst teacher because I will retaliate. <laughs> you would? Yeah? You'd lose it all. Your mum's made for the streets. <laughs> Your mum's made for the streets. You'd lose it all, brother. hundred percent. You'd lose it all. <laughs> I told my six-year-old we're having sandwiches for dinner. He told me he did too much homework to be eating sandwiches for dinner, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> random. I don't know why. Did you, when you was a kid, did you ever used to come home and fucking hate what was for dinner? If you'd had a busy day and you would worked up a... a <laughs> like a hero's appetite <laughs> hero's appetite um i want to say yes but nothing really sticks to mind right i'll tell you what my mum used to fuck with when yeah, we were kids yeah bro <clears throat> i don't know if this is like an irish thing mm. but or like maybe just like a white person thing mm. there were times so obviously picture this you're a teenager mm-hmm. it's the middle of summer mm-hmm and obviously, because it's summer, you're out. Of course. I would go straight. I, I've been at school all day. I've probably had a, a ham sandwich and some crisps to sustain me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get home. I have a, have a couple Maryland cookies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a quick shower and a change Bam, and you're out. Quick change, couple Maryland cookies, yeah. and I'm out. I'm playing football until from like four mm. until like eight or nine. Mm. I'm going home fucking starving. Yeah. And because it's summer, mum wants to give me a light summer meal. She used to give me salad. With boiled eggs and tuna in it. For dinner? For, <laughs> for dinner. I'd launch the I'm table. Ra- <laughs> I'd launch the fucking table. Who had? I used to run upstairs and scream into my pillow. <laughs> that took my breath away. <laughs> I wanted a spag bowl or something. A lasagna, a shepherd's pie. Something. Something dense. I was just about to say something <laughs> with density. I was just about to say dense. Yeah. Bro, salad, lettuce leaves. Boiled eggs, which I hate, and tuna with some mayo on the side. A summer's dinner. Oh, oh. And I used to say, like, mom, man, why this? She'd be like, oh, it's too hot for something heavy. What does that even Sisu! mean? Man, them in Africa and that, man, them on the equator eat heavy every day. Rice. What are you talking about? Chicken, rice, Man, they eat pounded yam for breakfast in Bro. Nigeria. What are you talking about? All them thing there. <laughs> man, so I'm the salad starving. for dinner. I'm starving. She makes some homemade potato salad with some boiled potatoes. Oh, food had? For and dinner. the whole thing was cold. Oh, nah. The eggs weren't even warm, brother. Nah. The whole thing was cold. Nah, nah, after them kind of exercises. You need food, food. I've been sweating all day. You need hot food. You Bro. need something to, to settle the stomach. I need carbs. <laughs> I was, ah, uh, it, ooh. It's triggering me <laughs> just can, thinking about it. I can tell. I, I swear to God, I used to run upstairs and scream into my pillow. <laughs> And just spend the whole night shaking in hunger. <laughs> oh, with some salad uh, cream and empting there. <laughs> fuck it. I want to launch it. I would anyway, launch the whole table. Sorry, moving on. I would launch the whole fucking table. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> During the London riots, guys were really out here changing their BBM names to Luther Vandross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <coughs> BBM, bro. <coughs> Bro, this one, hands up. This is me. The main character syndrome, the main character syndrome is strong in me because I can't believe 
the African Cup of Nations went on without Nigeria. I expected them to cancel it. <laughs> Fam, as soon as Nigeria got kicked out, <laughs> you thought the thing was done. They should have just cancelled the whole, it's pointless now. <laughs> that was me. Main character syndrome was me, bro. <laughs> That's actually funny. I expected them to cancel it. Facts. Oh. Facts. The final was boring for me. It was um, Egypt and... Where did Sadio Mane play for again? Where's he from? It's not Cameroon. Not Cameroon. No, it was... Um, it begins with S, no? It was... Uh, Senegal. Senegal. Senegal, e- yeah. Egypt, Senegal. Senegal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell. But, um, to be fair, that was me with England in the Euros. Mm. I was thinking, mm. it doesn't mm. make sense for us to lose at this point. Yeah. <laughs> It's our turn. Yeah, exactly. It, exactly. It's, it's impossible exactly, to lose. Exactly, bro. It's our turn. Exactly. So was, when we lost against Italy, I was thinking, that's it then. <laughs> that's it then. <laughs> that's just it then. Okay, cool. Save. Cancel everything. Cancel everything. Fam, you it, wasted time, it, money, everything. Yeah, yeah, the whole tournament was a waste of time. Exactly. It was based around us. Yeah, literally. Clearly. Not even for just for England. For everyone su- supporting us. <laughs> clearly, everyone wanted us to win. Clearly. That's what was going on in my yeah. head. It doesn't make sense for us yeah. to lose this. <laughs> Bro, it was Bro, wild. Mad. All right. My cousin caught her dude cheating. She put her iPhone in his car and did find iPhone and her son's iP- on her son's iPad, sorry, and found the girl's address. My granny said, You do know this detective work. Imagine you went to college and applied yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've been saying this for years. The energy some people the energy some women in particular put into catching their man cheating, mm. if they put that into a business, yeah. if they put that into some entrepreneurial spirit, <laughs> they'd be millionaires. Entrepreneurial <laughs> spirit. They'll be fucking millionaires. Oh bro. my days. That's hilarious. I told this girl, we're done. And she replied, we never started. Oh my God. Bro, I'm about to cry. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo! Wow! I'll have to reply, touche. <laughs> Fam! Touche, you and heartless little th- bitch. That's it. Touche. <laughs> that's it. Combo done. <laughs> Again, this in. Fam, this one. Hands up. This is me. Growing up in a Nigerian home, dad is back is not an announcement. It's a warning. Oh my God. <laughs> 100% brother. When I heard the car door slam, looking out the window, make sure it's him. Fam, I have to make sure everything's organized. That was me when my mum came home, fam, to be fair. I had to make sure the, the washing's done. I had to make sure the food was ready. And I had to make sure my room was clean. Bro. Fam, oh, I hated it. Oh, I hated yeah. It. Back I from... was washing dishes, mm. hoovering and mopping the floor. Mm. And bringing in the... If the washing was in on the line, yeah. that needs to be brought in and folded. <laughs> brought in and folded on everyone's bed. <laughs> if my mum rocked home at five and that wasn't done, beef. Arms house. Arms house. Beef. She will bell me. Yeah. If I was out my voice, she will bell me, cuss me, mm. and then before I say anything, she'll hang up. <laughs> I used to walk home just dreading. <laughs> you take the long way home. The long way home. So and for I'll some reason, my bike. I'm not riding my bike, I'm walking my bike. And for some reason, the long way is quick as well oh that day. Oh my God. The long way home is quick that day. It's the scariest thing. And then you walk through the door, you put your keys in, yeah. you open your door and you're like, hi. Yeah. You're in nothing. You, you 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 can hear the TV, yeah, yeah. so you know they're in there. Hi, no response, and you're like, "Fuck, <laughs> I fucked up, <laughs> I fucked up, I'm dead." <laughs> parents were brutal. Nah, bro. Oh, parents oh, were brutal. Long. Oh, the vibrator died while Brian and I were fucking, and this motherfucker said, "And now it's time for the acoustic set." <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, the tracking number isn't enough. I need to be on the delivery driver's private story. <laughs> Bro! Facts! <laughs> facts! Fam, when these men say it's going to be between 11 and 3, <coughs> where are you? Where are you, Someone Bro? Said, where yeah. are you? <laughs> I need to be on his private yeah. story. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, Everyone fuck. raise their hand up for that. Motherfuckers owe you a little money and start appearing offline on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, fuck. Appearing I'm offline sweating. on PlayStation. 
Oh, Jesus. Dudes be 6'5", 250 pounds just to end up working at T-Mobile. And that's so true, brother. I've seen some huge motherfuckers just doing some dainty ass jobs. It's like you're wasting everything God gave you. I've seen that so many times. I've seen that to be fair. Uh, That's peak. My ex said, you're never going to find someone like me. Motherfucker, that's the plan. (laughs) That's what he said. Motherfucker, that's the plan. (laughs) Fam, I read this and I'm thinking, "This this is facts. Being a baby must be traumatizing at times. Imagine going to sleep in your yard and you wake up in Woolworths. <laughs> bro, bro, fact. That literally is facts. Oh, oh my random. Days. When you were yeah, younger, this is stupid. Mm-hmm. Maybe even not even younger. Mm. Did you ever used to, did you used to get like um, envious of babies? You know, when you're walking down the street and the ra- it's raining. And they're in the buggy and they have yeah. that rain cover thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they're snoozing, they're snoozing in there. They don't have to walk. They wouldn't have to just close I their to eyes. to boot the buggy. <laughs> this rain cover thing. And all they're hearing is that like... <laughs> serenading them before they sleep. Clean, man. Yeah, your man. Mom. Yeah, man. Literally your mum. <laughs> Wake up. Sad girls give the best head because they don't care about breathing anymore. I lie. That's tough. Wow, indeed. Wow, indeed. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'll do one more. I think, where is it gone? <laughs> My dad went jogging this morning. Some minutes later, he called me to bring the car to come and pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, G? <laughs> Fam, <coughs> that's hilarious. <coughs> Fuck that's me. hilarious. Oh, it's calling me to come and pick him up, you know? <laughs> I remember, Fam... I remember, I don't remember what summer it was, but I was still living in London. My dad, I was still working at Grill on the Market for sure. I think it was the day I went to work. My dad went jogging. He was trying to keep, um, stay healthy and stuff. This was going on at least six, seven years ago, at least. And I think I was off the next day and so was he. We were chilling, chilling, chilling. Fam, man said he couldn't walk today. He said his, his body is in bits <laughs> and bobs. He said he couldn't walk today. He said, I was like, what did you do? He said, I went jogging yesterday. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was like, Pops, come on, cuz. Nah. Just a young stretch or something. He's not, he's not been active in a minute. Oh, in I a can minute. never be that. I feel <laughs> for parents in their times. I, that could never be me. Oh, he was done out. I remember. He was hobbling all over the yard. Oh, hobbling all over the fuck's yard. sake. Bless his corn socks. That's dread. Yeah, he's probably never jogged since. He doesn't want why that. Why would you? <laughs> he doesn't want Literally, that. Literally, why would he you? He doesn't want that anymore. Um, oh, my God. That was fucking funny. Bro, this is a long episode. Mm. Let's wrap it there, please. Yes. Um, my head's pounding from that laughing. Fam, same. Pounding. Um, guys. And I'm ill. You know the drill. Um, please, chirp the thing in the comments. Like the video if you like the video. If you're listening to, listening to this on audio... Please uh, leave a review. It means a lot to us. And I actually quite enjoy reading them. Same. I've read um, quite a few of them. I've read pretty much most of them. I've, I've pretty much read all of them. Mm. And um, as always, guys, we're happy to be here. Happy to have you here. If you can't wait till next Monday, hop on on patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs and catch our latest episode coming out this Thursday. Yeah, man. Love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. Blessage. Blessage.